We have here with us Reverend Morgan, um, who's here to talk to us about Worldwide Vision Day. Welcome to our Worldwide Vision Day program, sir. Great to have you. Thank you, Rev. Thank you. So tell us, what is this Worldwide Vision Day about? Uh, it's all about souls, saving souls. It's all about coming out of the four corners of our churches and hitting the streets and telling the world about Jesus. Amen, amen. And how often does this happen, this Worldwide Vision Day? It happens every quarter, every three months, because the scripture speaks about the harvest. The harvest is not four months, the harvest is three months. So every three months, we hit the streets. Uh, we hit the streets in January, we hit the streets in April, the first Saturday, and we hit the streets in October, and then we hit back the streets again. Amen. So we hit the streets January, April, July, right. and, October. and October. Four times for the year. Four times for the but year. But it's not limited to four times. Because there are, there are believers, harvesters, that go on a daily basis now. It used to be every quarter, but now it's on a daily basis. Our investors are hitting the streets and telling folks about Jesus, the love of Jesus. Amen. Can you say how Worldwide Vision Day has impacted your church? Yes, I've seen believers that never used to say a word. Mm. They start by giving out a track, not saying a word. Then afterwards, they're saying a word. And now they are mighty evangelists. Not in name, but in what they're doing. Amen. They're giving out tracts. We just have a sister came back, went somewhere in the States, first time to a particular place, mm -hmm. a church, and they said, we know you. And they call upon her, and she was able to impart Worldwide Vision Day. So this is impacting us locally, and it is impacting us globally. So folks are watching and we want to impart to the world, Worldwide Vision Day. Amen, amen. Can you talk a little bit about the global impact that Worldwide Vision Day has had? Yes. I have personally seen the reports. I have personally partake in Worldwide Vision Day going overseas. But what impacts me most is the reports. There are many, many people participating, they sending what they have done on the streets, and we have seen souls get saved. Mm -hmm. Believers are encouraged. They're not just sitting, waiting on the pastor to preach to them. They're the one now that's going out preaching, and that that's is awesome. so awesome. Yes. Amen. And that's what Jesus did with the 12 disciples. Mm -hmm. He called them, he teach them, and they went out. Right. Amen. Just like the woman at the well. It's, it's, you don't have to have a degree. Mm -hmm. You just have to know Jesus. Wow. You just have to know the man Jesus. Amen, amen. So you don't need to be, have any form of qualification. No. Okay. The only thing we need to have is Jesus. Amen, amen. Can you talk to us about, um, can you talk to us about others who have participated in Worldwide Vision Day um, that you did not expect to? Okay, yes. I mean... Yes, there's many churches at first, they're skeptic because maybe they believe we're going after the sheep or their sheep or their... No, we do not fish mm -hmm. inside of churches. Mm -hmm. We go on the streets and we meet pastors and we give them the vision. If they're willing to partake, then they will see the fruit of it if they partake because when souls get saved, where will they go? They have to go inside one of the churches. Yes, amen. And if it's across the world, churches are being impacted, souls coming in, and when they come in, then they have to go out and preach. Amen. Yes. I, and I understand that this Worldwide Vision Day has impacted so many different um, people, even um, some people who are popular um, in you know in the media and so on and so forth can you just share a little bit around that uh, oh, with yes. us i remember i believe his name is mark jackson former nba coach all-star and now he's a commentator for for the nba he participated yes and i believe there's many more that participated but they didn't want to show the show 
they'll keep it on a low key. But there are many, many more, many, 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 many more. And we will, we will see the fruit of it. We Amen. will see the fruit of it. Amen. Amen. It's, it's for everybody. It's not just for the names. It's for the no names. It's for everybody. Mm -hmm. As long as we know Jesus, this is for you. Worldwide Vision Day is for you. You sit in your churches and you feel empty. You, you, you feel like you need something more. Worldwide Vision Day is it. Amen. The greatest thing a believer can do is to bring a soul to Jesus. What's going to happen in heaven? Heaven will rejoice. Wow. Amen. So if heaven is rejoiced, then hurt is doing the right thing. Yes. Amen. 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 And we want heaven to keep rejoicing. Yes. Amen. Glory. Amen. So I, I understand. I don't know if you're a singer, but I understand that Worldwide Vision Day has been so impactful and is so significant that a song was even made about it. Do you mind giving us a little piece of that song? Amen. I can tell you the songs. There's a few songs. Worldwide Vision Day is here to stay. Uh, you could look it up. It's very popular. Look it up. Listen to it. There's many more. There's many books also. Many CDs, DVDs. Amen. But again, the most important thing about Worldwide Vision Day is raising up the body of Christ. Amen. We thank God for the fruits of it. The songs. Uh, the birth of churches, etc., etc., mm -hmm. and most importantly, this past Worldwide Vision Day, young people got saved wow. in New York City wow. on the street in New York. Yes, I understand New Seven. York is a tough place. Uh, it so is. that is awesome. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So thank you very much, Reverend Morgan. It was a pleasure to have you here thank on you. our Worldwide Vision Day program today, ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Morgan. <laughs>